Uh, good morning. This is Ian Doyle, board president of the Oregon Board of Pharmacy. I will now call this meeting of the Oregon Board of Pharmacy to order. Today is Wednesday, February 7th, 2024, and it is 8.30 a.m. Board of Pharmacy meetings are conducted in accordance with the Oregon Public Meetings Law. Under the Public Meetings Law, governing body meetings are open to the public except as otherwise provided by law. The presiding officer has the authority to keep and to impose any reasonable restrictions necessary for the efficient and orderly conduct of the meeting. Governing bodies are authorized by ORS 192.660 to meet an executive session in certain limited situations, including the consideration of information obtained by a health regulatory board as part of an investigation of licensee or applicant conduct. All official actions by the board must be taken by public vote and the vote of each member must be reported. At the beginning of each meeting, we remind ourselves of our mission. The Board of Pharmacy serves to promote and protect public health, safety, and welfare by ensuring highest standards in the practice of pharmacy and through effective regulation of the manufacture and distribution of drugs. I will now call roll for board and staff. For the record, when I call your name, please verbally acknowledge here. For President Ian Doyle, here. Board Vice President Kat Chin. Here. Board Member Shannon Beeman. Here. Board Member Rachel DeBarmore. Here. Board Member Jennifer Hall. Here. Board Member Rosemary Hemmons. Here. Board Member Rich Joyce. Here. Board Member Priyal Patel. Currently absent. Board Member Cindy Vipperman. Here. Chief Compliance Officer Joe Ball. Here. Mrs. Consultant Jennifer Davis. Here. Compliance Director Brianne Efremoff. Here. Compliance Officer Cheryl Fox. Here. Executive Director Jamal T. Fox. Here. Licensing Director Chrissy Hennigan. Here. Compliance Secretary Elizabeth Hughes. Here. Compliance Officer Jane Lee. Here. Operations Manager Rachel Melvin. Here. Compliance Officer Brian Murch. Here. Compliance Coordinator Kim Oster. Here. Compliance Officer Aaron Richmond. Here. Compliance Officer Gary Runyon. Here. Council Angela Hunt. Here. There will be an opportunity for public comment on Friday afternoon. The board will not deliberate any issues or requests during public comment, such as formal requests. Issues currently under investigation, requests but pending before the board or currently proposed rules. To sign up to provide public comment, email your request to pharmacy.board at bop.oregon.gov by 12 p.m. on Friday, February 9th, 2024. Board proceedings utilize Robert's Rules modified for par parliamentary, parliamentary procedures. We will continue to facilitate board discussions using a round robin method. I will continue to utilize board member checkoff lists to ensure each board member has been called upon and has equal time to provide comments. If during your turn you want to ask questions, please direct your questions to Executive Director Fox so that he can immediately respond or delegate to another. Exemptions to this path would be if, for example, you had specific questions for pharmacy consultant Davis while she was actively seeking feedback on a proposed rule. When you have finished speaking, please indicate as such so that I do not accidentally misinterpret your pause and call on the next board member too soon. In order to complete board member in order to complete board member agenda items in both the executive and open session, each board member will will each board member will each have three minutes to provide comments. The quote matters to be discussed by the board and quote portion of our meeting will occur at the end of the meeting on Thursday, if time permits, and on Friday after public comment. We have set aside 30 minutes to allow each board member an opportunity to provide feedback, ideas, or topics for discussion for future board meetings. Board and staff, please identify yourself as board or agency staff member with your last name each time you speak. Please silence all devices. A friendly reminder is that board members should refrain from using personal devices during the board meeting. 
It is extremely important that board members speak one at a time and directly into the microphone. Please limit side conversations as they interfere with the recording. Please raise your hand when you have questions or comments. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and retained for public record keeping purposes. The board will meet in executive session for most of the day and anticipates resuming open session between 4.30 and 5 p.m. this afternoon. Please separate all recycling and place it in the appropriate bins in the room. Uh, board President Doyle, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Staff Member Melvin, um, could you please introduce the board to our new time tracking device? We did not put anything in the agenda for you to speak about that. Thank you. Uh, before I go to that, I will uh, circle back around to um, board roll call and ask for board member Priyal Patel to identify herself as president. Patel here. Thank you. Uh, the board has acquired a new time tracking uh, device uh, with regards to the methodology of working do you uh, have some information to share with how it actually works in terms of timing colors staff member Hennigan and staff member Melbourne they might be yes to weigh in um I believe once the timer starts green is a minute 30 seconds mm -hmm. and then uh, it will move to yellow and yellow is one other minute. minute and then it moves to red which gives you 30 seconds and then it will flash and beep when the time is up and you are the master of timekeeping ceremonies is that correct yes so um as it is a new process i appreciate a little grace as we work <laughs> through this but um correct. thank you very much uh we will now introduce our new board counsel angela hunt we want to welcome our new legal counsel, uh, Department of Justice Senior Assistant Attorney General Angela Hunt. Uh, she has been a member of the Business Activities Section, or BAS, since October 2016. While in BAS, she has worked primarily with the boards of physical therapy, medical imaging, occupational therapy, accountancy, architect examiners and construction contractors, as well as the health licensing office within the Oregon Health Authority and Oregon OSHA. She has extensive experience with licensing boards and regulatory agencies, including handling contested cases and providing advice on areas of agency authority and jurisdiction, investigations, public meetings and records law, and assistance with legislation. EOJ Senior Assistant Attorney General Angela Hunt is an accomplished government lawyer. She came to our office after having worked for about five years for the Colorado Attorney General. While with the Colorado AG, she worked in the section of worked in the section similar to business activities, representing various licensing boards and agencies in court and administrative hearings, as well as providing them with legal assistance and advice. Uh, prior to the call, prior to the Colorado AG, she worked for about three years as an assistant attorney, assistant city attorney for the city of Denver, and handled over 100 criminal jury trials. Prior to being the Denver assistant city attorney, she worked uh, for about two years in private practice in the civil litigation area for firms in Denver. She graduated from the University of Denver College of Law in 2006. Welcome. Do you have any words that you'd like to share? Um, sometimes, you know, you'll hear me say, because I work in Colorado for so long before I came to Oregon, sometimes I'll be like, wait, did I in Colorado? But I always figure it out. <laughs> so I'm excited to be here and meet all of you and get to know this board and, and your Thank you. Uh, we will now review the board meeting agenda and ask each board member to provide any proposed revisions to the meeting agenda. Uh, I, board member uh, Doyle, do not um, have any uh, revisions uh, 
to make. Uh, Board Vice President Chin. Revisions, thank you. Member Beeman. Member Beeman, no revisions, thank you. Member DeBarmore. Member DeBarmore, no revision. Member Hall. Member Hall, no revisions. Member Hemmons. No revisions. Member Joyce. Joyce, no revisions. Member Patel. Member Patel, no revisions. Member Vipperman. Board Member Vipperman, no revisions. Thank you. Uh, having heard that discussion, is there a motion to approve the agenda? I'll call anybody on the room to provide. Board member Beeman makes the motion. Is there a second? Board, board member uh, Chin seconds. Uh, so having a motion and a second, we'll move on to the vote for approving the agenda. Uh, board President Doyle, yes. Board Vice President Chin, yes. Board Member Beeman, yes. Board Member DeBarmore, yes. Board Member Hall, Board Member Evans, yes. Board Member Joyce, yes. Board Member Patel, Patel, yes. Board Member Vipperman, yes. Uh, motion passions. Uh, agenda is approved. It is now 8:41 a.m. The executive session is will be held pursuant to ORS 192.660-12FL, ORS 192.6901, ORS 676.165, and ORS 676.175, which allows the board to meet in executive session to consider information or records that are exempt from law from public inspection. Representatives of the media and designated staff shall be allowed to attend the executive session. Representatives of the media are specifically directed not to report on any of the deliberations during the executive session, except to state the general subject of the session as previously announced. No decision may be made in executive to session, executive session. At the end of executive session, we will return to open session and welcome the public back into the meeting. There are a motion to move to enter executive session for the purpose of legal advice, review and discussion of investigations and disciplinary cases at 8.42 a.m. Seconded by board member Chin. Moved by DeBarmore, seconded by Chin. We'll now call vote. Board President Doyle, yes. Board Vice President Chin. Yes. Board member Beeman. Yes. Board member DeBarmore. Yes. Board Member Hall? Yes. Board Member Hemmons? Yes. Board Member Joyce? Yes. Board Member Patel? Yes. Board Member Vipperman? Yes. Motion carries. We will now meet in executive session. Please allow staff a few moments to transition to executive session.